Hello, this is Daniel from the Atlanta Astronomy Club, and I'm going to demo here how to use heavensabove.com to look up International Space Station flyovers for your area. So we go to heavens-above.com, and as you can see here, the basic site loads with your location as unspecified. To get any kind of accurate information, you need to enter in your location. You can do this in one of two ways. You can register as a user, and then you log in as your account, and you can save your locations. Or the easier way, I think, to do this is to click Select from Map. And when that loads this little Google Map here, we're going to zoom in on Atlanta and set our location as Atlanta. So you want to get as close to your observing location or as close to your house or whatever the, the case may be. And so we're going to label this as Atlanta. And we're going to choose your time zone. It's very important. And longitude and latitude are there. And we're going to hit submit. So what this now does is it shows your observing site as Atlanta. And anything you click on anywhere in here will give you the data for your location, specific to your location. So under satellites here, we're going to click the International Space Station, or ISS, link. And that's going to bring up a table of information of all the passes coming up for the next 10 days. So what you have here is on the 24th is going to be the next visible pass from the Atlanta area. It's going to be 0.2 in, or negative 0.2 in magnitude. It's going to start at 11.57.39 seconds at 10 degrees above the horizon, looking in the northern direction. The ISS is going to be at the highest altitude for our location at 12 degrees above the horizon, just about a little bit less than a minute later at 11.58.24. And then the pass is going to end, which either means it's going to go below the horizon, or in this case, since it has 12 degrees altitude at the same time as this over here, it's going to go into the shadow of Earth and will no longer be reflecting the sunlight back down to us, which is how we see it. So to get more information on this pass, we're going to click on the date for this pass, and that's going to bring up the next page, which is going to show the path of it in the sky. Here it's going to pop above the horizon in the north, and it's going to go towards Cassiopeia, and then it's going to fade into the shadow right before it reaches Cassiopeia. And scroll down here, it gives you more information on the exact timings of when it enters the shadow, when it rises above the horizon, and it gives you a star chart of the path in the sky based on your location. So as you can see, it's going to come above the horizon here, head towards and enter the shadow right before it gets to Cassiopeia. So that is how you see a uh, pass. But if you want some more information as to exactly where the International Space Station is going to be over the country, you can click this ground track link up here, and it will show you a map of the United States and the path. This red circle is our horizon. So what happens is the International Space Station is going over Canada, going over the Great Lakes. It comes above our horizon right here, and it goes above Michigan, and then right about here where the arrow is is where it goes into the shadow of the Earth. So this, right about here, the sunlight is no longer hitting the International Space Station, so therefore we cannot see it any longer. But it continues on this dotted line here. Now going back to the main page of Heavens Above, and as you can see it still loads Atlanta as our location. You can also go um, choose a couple other things. If you want to see a Hubble Pass, it's a similar to the ISS. You can click on these daily predictions for the satellites. And what this is good for is if you're at an event with some kids or with your friends and family and they see a satellite pass over, they may ask you what satellite that is. And using this information, you'd be able to tell them. It'll show you a whole chart of every visible satellite that's going to pass over your location tonight. So based on the time that you see it and the direction it's heading, it gives you a good idea of which satellite or space junk is usually what it is. So. Then uh, Iridium flares are really cool to see. They're really crowd pleasers. So if you click on next 24 hours, it'll show you all Iridium flares that are going to occur in the next 24 hours. As you can see, there's two tonight on June 21st. And what these are is a satellite will pass the sky. Sometimes it's b barely visible passing through the sky. Sometimes you can't see it at all. And then what happens is the solar panels 
are aligned just right to reflect the sunlight that are hitting them right back down to earth. So you'll see the satellite go across the sky and then all of a sudden it'll get immensely bright, brighter than any of the planets in our sky. And then it'll dim down and only last a few seconds. So as you can see here, it's telling you to look about 14 degrees above the horizon in the west-southwest. And it's negative six in magnitude, so it's very, very bright. As you can see, the one that's later on, there's one about nine minutes later that's negative one. And the reason why is we're further away from the brightest part of the flare, as you can see here. If you click on the time, it will take you to another page that shows you where the center of the pass is. This is where the brightest part of the flare would be and where we are away from it, about 30 kilometers away. If you click here on the satellite name and then go up here to pass as visible, then you can see the time here for the pass. So this is when the pass was and as you can see the satellite is normally 8 magnitudes. So that's really not visible to the naked eye. But if you click on the date this time, it'll show you where to look. So it's a little roundabout way of showing you how to find what, where this flare is going to be. But as you can see, it kind of north, west, kind of goes to the south, just south of Saturn. It goes through Leo. So if you scroll down, it'll show you where you see the time, max altitude here is probably about the time of the flare. So find that on the chart. It's about right there. So right as the satellite passes into Leo. clicking on the chart will blow that up a little bit is when it'll flare so it gives you an idea of where to look and that's very important because you have to be you know precisely where to look to catch these things there's also some other information here on this website you can get uh, information on all the asteroids that are visible right now from your location you can get a planisphere or a whole sky chart based on your location the Sun and moon data for your location planetary summary data and solar system chart and you can use the planetary summary data in the solar system chart to find out what planets are seeable or visible right now, what time they rise, what time they set, and how far away from the sun they are and how far away from the earth they are, which is really good information to know when you're doing an event with kids because they're, they're always interested in that information. So now that you have this site and know how to use it, what you can do is you can go up to favorites and add to favorites and name it something like Heavens Above Space Atlanta and then add because this URL will never change you can use this URL to always get back to this page for Atlanta so now that you have it as a favorite you can regardless of where you are you can just click on Atlanta it'll bring up this page and it'll have all the new data uploaded so tomorrow you can come a week later you can come up and it'll still bring you up Atlanta with all the current information so that's how you use heavens dash above to get uh, predictions for when the International Space Station and Iridium flares are going to pass over, as well as a whole bunch of information that, that may help you out on an observing field. So, if you have any questions or comments, uh, any other demos you might like to see, I'll be more than happy to do them for you. Uh, just give me an uh, email, shoot me an email at atlantaastronomy.com. Uh, sorry, shoot me an email at observing at atlantaastronomy.org, um, and I'll see what I can do for you. So, thanks.